What's up everybody? Zero back again. Got some gameplay on Hazard. And this is the very first game after I put FPS Freaks on my controller. I just put it on the aiming stick. I didn't put it on the moving stick. And I decided I had to do something because Xbox controller is just shitty. And I know every, a lot of people are Xbox fans and stuff, but trust me, the controller is shitty compared to the PS3 controller. And... I had to do something about it because my accuracy was just horrible. I couldn't hit anything, and I'd try to make fine movements, and every time I tried to make a fine movement, it would not move until the point where it jumped way out and everything else, and I couldn't snipe worth a shit with it, so I decided the ultimate test would be trying to snipe with it. And wouldn't you know it, the first map that came up as soon as I put him on was Hazard, so I thought, hey, let's try this out. I'm just going to sit in the back with a sniper rifle and see what I can do. As you saw right there, I sniped a guy, headshot, almost across the map right off the bat. And I was like, you know what, maybe there is something to this. Maybe they actually live up to the claims. And I looked into them before, and the whole, you know, the physics behind it and everything makes sense. If you extend your radius of your rotation, then you'll be able to make finer movements and everything else like that. So I thought, eh, what is there to lose? It was only, uh, I think I found them on some sort of sale they were having for like 10 bucks. It's like, eh, I've made worse decisions. Bought even more worthless things, so even if it doesn't work out, it can't be all that bad. And she's going to get teleport knifed there. So, I think it was last Tuesday, I that night I decided to order some. And then, I didn't know how long it would take. It said six to eight days, and I checked my mail on Friday, and they were already in my mail when I got it. So, I have to give them something for their shipping. And I was surprised by the packaging, too. They actually had decent packaging. Nice little hard plastic case, and they were in their little presentation cardboard and everything. I was impressed. I wasn't expecting to have them so soon, and I wasn't expecting them to come in such nice packaging. And overall quality, they don't feel like they're made cheaply. The rubber on top of them actually feels better than the Xbox rubber on the controllers. It grips my finger even better than the controller on the Xbox. I'm sure it'll grip even better than the PS3 controller, because it's kind of rounded and... Even though it has a little bit better texture, it's still kind of hard to keep a real steady grip on. I don't know what's going on here. I'm running all around this trying to find the guy. and Of course he has ghosts, so, you know. Don't they all? I guess he was hacking my claymore or something. I didn't even see him. But, anyway, I think the gameplay footage here speaks for itself with my sniper rifle. I... Other than the really shitty Black Ops hit detection, I mean, you know, you'll see that I'm right on target sometimes and it's still not counting it, but still, I hit way more shots than I ever do, typically, so it has to be say something. And considering I bumped my sensitivity up by two points from two to four, and I think you can tell my aiming's moving a lot faster than normal. I don't know what happened there. I guess I can't even get even the slightest bit of bullet penetration through the little concrete, but my aiming's still not perfect, but it's improved quite a bit, and playing with higher sensitivity is sure helping out a lot. Just letting me turn on people a little bit faster. Of course, you know, none of that helps with a game like this in certain situations with the hit detection just being so horrible. This whole weekend, or week for me, or whatever, my weekend is usually Monday and Tuesday, so everything for me this week has been pretty horrible. i can't even get a hit marker in the gunfight here lately. I'll run around the corner and see a guy and shoot him in the side five or six times, and then I'll drop over dead and watch the kill cam, and I didn't even fire a shot in his kill cam, and he was looking at me the whole time I walked into the room, or I'll shoot somebody walking around the door, and nothing happens, and I watch the kill cam, and he comes around the door and takes careful aim and shoots me. And it just seems to be happening constantly this weekend, and I don't know what's up with that, because it'll say I have a 4 bar, but I sure don't. Didn't quite get it uh, right there. Still haven't mastered the quickscoping yet. I don't think I ever will, because in my opinion, quickscoping's pretty gay, and especially when you're adding all the 360s and everything else in. Anyone who was a fan of that, sorry, but I think it's gay as shit. For all the good things that YouTube's done for the online gaming community. I think it's done a few bad things, and things like that are one of the bad things. That and a lot of people are just 
KD Horan and things like that. That's never good, but I guess that probably went on before YouTube happened. But now that YouTube's going on, everyone's trying trick shots and 360s and everything else like that. And kind of just gets in the way of actually going out and trying to win the game. But it's not all bad, and I think this new bill that's trying to go through with the copyright infringement or whatever, I haven't even paid that much attention to it, since I doubt it's going to pass. A lot of things like that get proposed constantly, and almost none of them pass, but that could be a real bad thing, and I don't think the game developers are going to want it. I think they're probably going to be against it, because YouTube is great, great advertisement for gaming companies. I probably wouldn't play a lot of the games that I play if I hadn't gone and looked at videos first and thought, hey, that looks like a lot of fun. And I know a lot of people do the same. And then once I do get the games, a lot of times I go watch videos just to find interesting things and learn little tips and tricks and just all sorts of stuff. So I think the game companies probably are going to be lobbying pretty hard for this not to go through with its current wording. But we should still be concerned about it just because there is an off chance that it might go through. It would be far from the stupidest thing that the U.S. government has ever done. <laughs> I say this on the 4th of July. I guess uh, uh, shows how patriotic I am, I guess. I don't know, holidays don't really mean that much to me anymore I, since fucking RCXD and I didn't have flak jacket on. Anyway, holidays don't really mean that much to me anymore since the place I work keeps a 24-7 schedule and your holidays are just whenever you choose to take them, so I don't really get any official holidays off. This has been the first time in years I haven't had to work on the 4th of July. I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do all night. I'd like to go watch the fireworks display, but fireworks just aren't as fun if you're not shooting them off yourself. And I kind of got spoiled on fireworks in my late teen years. One of the friends of our family, he owned a trucking company, and he shipped for fireworks companies, and he shipped for a professional guy that did professional fireworks displays at stadiums and things, so every year he ended up getting a whole bunch of B-class fireworks, which you know the classifications of fireworks. The only thing you can buy legally as a consumer at the fireworks stands or any place like that are C-class fireworks, and B-class fireworks are the professional grade things, and we'd shoot those off at his place every year and his private parties that he would have every year were usually better than the town fireworks displays even though he did the town fireworks displays typically just because he could get the fireworks and yeah I mean if you go to a fireworks stand about the best you can buy in a fireworks stand in a state that allows good fireworks is the one inch mortars where you drop them into a tube and they shoot up in the air and kind of make the star burst and he was getting four, six, eight, and one time even a 12-inch mortar. And those things were just massive. We ended up touching them off electronically after the first couple of years, just because it was so much easier and you could get so much more distance between you and them. The very first one we ever shot off was this thing called a salute. And it uh, was a, I think it was a four-inch salute. And it went up in the air and just this little tiny flash of blue light. And just about the time everybody was thinking, well, that was a dud. Just the most loud, deafening boom I have ever heard. I was almost on my back. I lost my balance for a couple seconds. I've never felt anything like that before in my life. And I heard the echoes going on for a good ten seconds afterwards. People ten miles out of town heard this thing go off. And after that, I was hooked. I was Regular fireworks were never the same after that. And... That was in a state where I could buy decent consumer class fireworks, but a lot of states these days you can't even buy anything. You can't buy things that go up in the air or anything like that in a lot of states, and some states I think don't even let you have sparklers or anything like that, which is pretty lame. So, I could go to the cities. They usually have a really big display every year where they're shooting off the B class fireworks, but like I said, it's just no fun when I'm not the one doing it and I'm not. You know, 20 feet away from them going off, or as usually at these displays, you have to stand back like two or three hundred yards. And it's just not near as much fun. And for some reason, I just don't think the ATF would give me a license to get these, or whatever they call themselves now alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. And I think they added an E on for explosives. They're 
bunch of killjoys in the United States. Didn't let anybody have any fun. I don't know, I always thought if I wanted to blow stuff up on my own property, I should be able to, but they, they think otherwise. <laughs> Especially after 9-11. They don't fuck around after 9-11. You get caught building any type of explosive device, even if you're trying to clear some stumps or whatever on your own land, you're gonna be going to prison for a while. They seriously frown on that. I remember my uncle and dad telling stories about building pipe bombs and their metal working class or whatever in high school and setting those off in the parking lot and even in my day in school that just would not have gone over at all. I think they got in trouble for it too but it's just amazing how things change. My grandpa always had the best stories about stuff that he did as a kid. He was always blowing stuff up. But he was kind of a pyromaniac too which that ran at me from both sides of my family so I'm always burning something or blowing something up. Not so much now that I live in the city, but when I lived in the country, I, man, there was always bonfires and burning trash and blowing things up. And when my cousin and I would get together, it was usually one of us would end up with some burns somewhere, especially on the Fourth of July. We'd rip the sticks off fire or off uh, bottle rockets and light it and throw it underneath one. He'd throw it underneath my feet, or I'd throw it underneath his feet, and you know, right before it went off, then you'd be like, "Oh, you might want to look down." <laughs> Watch him do the dance. It's amazing either of us have lived this long. But now he's got kids of his own. But anyway, I guess this is about FPS freaks. So yeah, I think they're actually worth it. But I kind of got off track. As always, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Any interaction that you have on my video, I appreciate. And it helps get the word out there and get more attention on my videos. And hope you come back and watch more. Thanks.